Good morning, folks. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. At 7.48 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, there was a magnitude 3.3 earthquake west of Mount St. Helens. USGS downgraded this earthquake, revised it to a magnitude 3.0. There's been other earthquakes, too. They are reporting six for the Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier location uh, let's see we got 4.4 miles in depth uh, another one 4.1 miles in depth these are all Mount Rainier um, Mount St. Helens a 1.7 um, 7 miles in depth a 3.0 it was actually a 3.3 and a 2.0 they're really downplaying these earthquakes Here's the location of that magnitude. Originally, they said it was a 3.2. And they revised it to a 3.0. You can see here it's west of Mount St. Helens. And these two monitors, oh, how convenient. They haven't worked since Tuesday. So the monitors that I downloaded are to the south. Um, I got this one here. UWSHW and UW. HSSR. They'll probably shut those down too once they see my report. And then the other one, let's see, it was, there it is, a magnitude 2.8. And that's Mount Rainier. Yeah, the plates are moving. This is These are definitely tectonic um, plate movement type earthquakes. And as our Earth's magnetic field weakens you're going to get more and more of these earthquakes along with volcanic eruptions around the world this monitor here is a borehole in fact it's a very deep well under the ground um borehole 204 let me bring it down so those of you with larger screens can see um, md 3.37 and then we got two more Let's see, we got one right there. That would have been, let's see, 4.32 Universal Time, 8.32 Pacific Standard Time. USGS is saying it's a magnitude 1.7. It's not. It is, let me bring it down, a magnitude 2.34. It's got a long P wave on it. Um, it was tectonic movement of the plates. And then we got another one. I have to make that bigger. Okay. Both of those were at Mount Rainier. Also tectonic plate movement. They're saying that one is a magnitude 2.6. But I get a 2 point. Let me bring it down. A 2.96. It might have been actually a little bit larger. I really cut it short. Yeah, you can see right there. Yeah, it's a 2.96. Then at 6.46 um, Universal Time, also by Mount Rainier, they're saying there was a magnitude 1.7. But that was actually a magnitude 2.14. And again, it was also tectonic in movement. And again, this is from the borehole. Yeah, borehole uh, 204. So that's its location right there. Yeah, yeah, it's a very deep well under the ground. So it only picks up what's under the ground. Doesn't matter where you take um, the signature from, as long as you got the entire signature of the earthquake. So we got another small one right here, popping of the ground, at uh, 9.18 Universal Time. That would have been at 1.18 Pacific Standard Time. That's probably right there at Mount St. Helens. And then we got another one right there. Let me pull it over at um, 9.20 Universal. 
so that would have been at 1.20 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let's look at it. Yeah, more popping of the ground. And again, that's um, plate movement. We got a lot of slow moving tremors going on today. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files just a little while ago. Yeah. I pulled the files all the way up until about 5.47 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It is currently 6.25 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So let's take a look at what else was showing here at the borehole. There's, there's other things. Um, I pulled it all the way back until yesterday, um, the 4th. That would be right there. Would be one of the larger ones. It too has a P wave on it, so it could be Mount Rainier area in that direction. And there's its um, size um, spectrogram, excuse me, the spectrogram. Yep, I'm right. Um, Mount Rainier area, a magnitude 2.3. But it comes in as a magnitude 2.74. Let me bring it down for those of you that can see it down there at the bottom. MD 2.74. Now this original large earthquake, which was a magnitude 3.3, USGS gave it an intensity level of 4, which means it was felt indoors by many people, outdoors by a few. At night, some may have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Autos rocked noticeably. Um, I don't know if it's related or not, but um, I had gone to bed because I'm on central daylight time. I'm uh, two hours earlier and my cat would not settle down. He was meowing frantically last night. Running throughout the apartment, I called him to bed or called her to bed. Um, grabbed her and made her lay down and she was frantic. She would not lay down. So I would like to know if any of you there in the Washington area, um, how were your pets acting? prior to this earthquake or during the earthquake and afterwards. I was work as I was working downloading the data, yeah, she was running around again uh, meowing. So that was probably half an hour, 45 minutes ago. I call her my earthquake kitty. She is definitely earthquake sensitive. You can see the monitor here on the right. It stopped working just as an earthquake was coming in. Um, this is HSR. Let me see if I can. Yeah, it's not going to show me the data. Yeah, it stopped working. Yeah, you can see we got a whole line of data above it. And right there, if you can see it, it's marked in red. Just when it completely shut off. Yeah, let's see. What do we got here? If it'll show me, it's not going to show me that one. It will show that one right there at 602. That was at 10.02 p.m. I already showed you that one, I believe, from the borehole. And then, yeah, it'll show me that one, too, at 4.32. Now, that's universal time. Yeah, this monitor stopped working at 10.59 uh, universal, or Pacific Standard Time. 10.59 Pacific Standard Time, or 6.59 um, universal time. That's when it stopped working right there. Myself, I think they turned it off. You know, to have so many monitors, let me show you here, not working. It's it's just amazing that they can allow this to happen. This one I tried to download and it's not working. And this one here to um, the west, closer to where this 3.3 happened. Yeah, they're not working. And if it was a, a glitch, there um, at their station for um, the Cascadia Subduction Zone monitoring site, you would think um, they would have someone that would be concerned to get it working, but evidently they are not concerned. It kind of reminds me of uh, the movie uh, Christmas Carol or, you know, with Dickens. And he says, uh, yeah, it's better to decrease the world's population for the felt reports, they don't even have that listed here on their their webpage for the uh, 3.3. Yeah, nothing listed. That's not even working. Even though um, 76 people did send in reports to USGS, did you feel it? 
Um, no one sent in reports to EMSC. I wish they would have done that. The uh, European website. Here it is on EMSC. I'll give you a link to EMSC so you can put your reports in if you do feel earthquakes. Because that way then we can read it and know what you guys felt. Here on the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, you can see the different earthquakes. We got Mount Rainier, a 1.7, a 2.8, a 0 0.6, um, Mount St. Helens, a 1.7, a 3.0, Mount Rainier, a 2.0, a 0 0.3, that was on the 4th for Mount St. Helens. Um, a 1.0 for Mount Rainier, a 2.3, one for Spokane, Washington, Seattle, Washington, and just pull it down here. Let's see, Smith Ferry, Idaho. I'm surprised they're reporting that one, a 2.3. That would probably be close to uh, um, the Yellowstone area. And let's see, let's see, um, Oregon, 2.0, well, it's California, that would probably be um, the Clear Lake area, uh, a 2.4, um, bring it down here, um, Petrolia, California, 3.5, I believe I did, I don't know, did I do a that was eight days ago. Yeah, I'm sure I did a video on that. Anyways, I'll give you a link to this too. In my Yellowstone report, um, I did how they don't want you to be prepared. How if there's a major eruption for Yellowstone. Yes, and that is a super volcano. Um, how power would, would go out across the country from the ash. Now, luckily, these here on the west coast are smaller. But you will remember the death and the destruction that happened when Mount St. Helens erupted. Everyone should be prepared for a major disaster. If there was a power outage from a large volcano or um, a coronal mass ejection from the sun, um, yeah, it takes 18 months to rebuild those transformers, the power stations. 18 months. They're not made here. In the United States and if you think about all the power stations the transformers that have would have to be replaced you're looking at years and years and years of no power and because of all the technology that we now rely upon this is why they're saying within one year 80 to 90 percent of the population would be dead the internet needs power to send reports for um, the delivery of goods, dispatches for fire, police, other emergency services would not be working. They wouldn't be able to communicate with them. Your pumping stations for your sewers and water would stop working. So no clean water and the sewage would be backing up into your homes. Think of the disease that people would die from. We are definitely in the birth pains of the book of Revelation. Just look at all the things that have happened in the world since New Year's. They know things are coming. Why do you think these super rich are building all these million dollar underground bunkers? Well, they're not going to do them any good, are they? Mark Zuckerberg is building a 32 room or bedroom bunker there in Hawaii. While well, talking about foolish. Um, because um, he would probably drown in there from a mega tsunami. Just shows he does not know his Bible. The Bible says how all the islands will move from their place. And that would create mega tsunamis. Yep. I believe I could be wrong. He is spending a hundred million dollars to build a 32 room or bedroom bunker under the ground there in Hawaii. So please be prepared. All the, the rich are getting prepared. What are they getting prepared for? And if it's not a coronal mass ejection from the sun, it could be a nuclear explosion. 
that would take out the power system. Getting late in the game. Yep. Yep. Get prepared. The best you, you, you can. Yep. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please be prepared and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Thank you.